Hey Simmers, welcome back to Simpit Academy. My name is Sean. As we finish most of the important panels, we now look at some optional panels that may or may not be functional. Um, they help to make the cockpit look more complete. So starting with the ground maintenance diagnostics panel, right? This one doesn't light up, no buttons to press, nothing, but it just sits there at the left side of the console. So you just draw two rectangles like this, a big one, and then pad a bit, and then draw a smaller one and pad. Then you draw all these rectangles and punch a hole, pocket all of them like this, okay, all the way through. So you want to draw the holes here as well. Mm. Rectangles, pocket through, draw. Okay, this one, it says, makes the window shallower. I don't remember what I did. Maybe it was too tall, and we just make it not as tall. So, once you're done, have another one at for the bottom as the base. Okay, just to cover up this um, underneath it so you don't have to go make like 20 different, just one piece underneath and stick it up and it will look like, you know, like this. Okay, this is the finished product. Uh, obviously, all the corner holes, I don't pre-draw them, it's up to you how far away you want you can just manually drill them yourself so next is the anti-g panel so there's a button here um i didn't build this thing so it's basically a panel and some four half dome um kind of reverts and then this this button here all right so making this is simple um rectangle and then this one you corner round off the corners and then have a back plate at the bottom so to make the fake reverts you draw an arc okay like this and then you draw this first and then click this thing and rotate it and it will become like this okay like basically all the way from this side to this side then it becomes like this so you can slice it um, to whatever height you want, okay? Now, you also want to get something like this from, say, AliExpress, which will be the cheapest. All right, just put it there. You don't have to wire it, whatever. It's just for sure. But it does um, physically go down when you press it. Okay, this size is just nice. All right, so entire J panel, this is done. Notice that I didn't build this at all. The main thing is to press this. I don't even know what does this do. Maybe you have to turn it uh, before you press it in real life. Who knows? So next, um, this one is functional. This one, you, you have four... Um, 
stages okay one two three four okay so you need a rotary switch with four positions so this text is not readable so i made a more readable one and it's flat it, it doesn't like uh, wrap around the top so first one is to draw this shape like this this is an estimation i have no idea what's the exact size all right and then after you draw this you pad it okay and then you chamfer the sides the edge around it top and bottom and then here you chamfer it and then chamfer again okay to make it like this then notice that I made this okay um, basically this is locked and down hold and up so when it's moving if you press to this third stage it will hold at whatever position is opening or closing right and this is all the way down this is all the way up so when closing if you go too fast you will not catch up you when you're closing you have to come down here wait for it to come down completely before you lock it okay you'll see in the demo so all right for the dome here you just go to the part, part workbench and create a sphere all right of um radius 20 and then move it till it joins with this and then you print out the whole thing and then you are done then we take a look at um, how this works